One year. In the first three to six months, I was making so much progress every week. What's smoking dragons? It's your girl Kimmy Tan. I'm so glad all y'all could come hang out with me today. Welcome to another session episode of Get Baked and Cake, where I bake myself and cake my face. Today's gonna be kind of like a story time. Let's go ahead and bake ourselves first, shall we? my ab workout right there. <laughs> Engage that core when you cough. Mm. So I have no makeup on right now. I do have some acne and for the first time I am not going to cover it when I start on camera. It's so frustrating when your face decides to just sprout a pimple out of nowhere. It's like you want to pop it but if you pop it it's gonna be a sore on your face. So really what you should do is like just put a pimple patch. Like I wear stars and stuff on my face like all the time. But sometimes you know if you have a date, a meeting, and you need to have makeup on that day here is what I do. But I have this, it's like a liquid pimple patch. You just get a little bit and then you put it and just wait for it to dry. Yeah, you see? Hmm. It's not that bad when it's flat and you can just put makeup over it, but like it's annoying when there's like a little bit of a raise going on, there's a little bit of texture. Funny that I say that about myself, but when I've seen other people, with like texture on their face, I, it doesn't even phase me. Like it doesn't, I, it doesn't even register in my mind. But for some reason, we are all always so hypercritical of ourselves. Most of the things that you're really insecure about yourself about, nobody else noticed. Like, tell me honestly, have you ever looked at someone and went, oh my gosh. Their makeup was not smooth. Oh my gosh, she had texture on her face. More than likely, you look at them and you notice the things that stand out to you that are positive. Like their style is so cute, their hair is so cute, their features are real pretty, their clothes are awesome. So if we can think that way about other people, why can't we think that about ourselves? <coughs> Literally just got these lashes off of Amazon. <coughs> the past two years have been the most healing years of my life. Mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. I lost like 40 pounds, a little over 40 pounds uh, in the last couple years. But the whole transformation took me like a little bit less than a year fully, but around three months I started already seeing a difference. I'm not about to like, you know, start making fitness content on here or anything like that. I was not athletic at all <laughs> growing up. I was a super emo kid, you know, my after school activities, my extracurriculars were like choir, band, art, you know, stuff like that. Don't play sports, no. I failed PE. <laughs> Who the fuck fails PE? All you have to do is show up. That is how anti-fitness and anti-sports I was. I grew up in Asia and in Asia, the beauty standards are unachievably insane. I've always felt like I was a victim of my body. My weight felt like that was out of my control. I was bullied a lot growing up for it. I would always be really jealous of all the girls who were fit and thin. Like when I lived in Asia, I was an XL, sometimes double XL. It was the only thing I could think about when I looked at myself in the mirror and I felt like other people weren't interested to get to know me or know me anything past what I looked like. Now, looking back, that was a very character building moment. You gotta have some lore in your life, you know? I've always heard that, you know, going to the gym is good for you, that's how you lose the weight. You know, go to the gym, go to the gym, go to the gym. And I never wanted to just because, A, I was afraid of everybody there, and two, I just, the thought of it was just like, scary and it sounded like a lot of hard work and I was just like, no, I'm just gonna go the other route and starve myself and do it all the unhealthy way. It doesn't work. During the pandemic, I gained a lot of weight very quickly. Gained about 40 to 50 pounds in the span of like six months. I was very unhealthy from my mind to my body to the people I was surrounding myself with, everything. And when you're struggling so much on the inside, it will spill over to the outside. I gained a lot of weight. I was starting to get a lot of like hate comments about it. I was deleting a lot of comments. I deleted a lot of videos too because I was not happy with how I looked. And now looking back, I really wish I hadn't. I think you'll be able to tell in my drunk unboxing video, glass collection video, Sort of like around that time, I felt like you could really see it in my face. And when I looked back at the footage, I had an editor at that time 
and I had to ask the editor to can you please crop out my body I'm really insecure about it and it wasn't just that I had started to show like some symptoms of PCOS I've never gotten tested for it but I didn't get my period for a whole entire year I got crazy severe acne I started losing some patches of hair but was you know growing hair on my like mustache like area I can't believe nobody told me that I had a mustache. All my friends back then were fucking fake as hell. Once my body started showing that there was something wrong on the inside that I needed to get healthy immediately. Just because someone is overweight does not mean they're unhealthy. Let's just make that clear. But the way I was, you know, the quick changes, I was like, I'm sick from the inside. I need to do something. I need to get healthy right now. That was just like a huge wake up call for me. In in that moment, I made a promise to myself that I was going to get into the best shape of my life. I had no idea what I was going to do, but I knew I was ready for some big life changes and I'm the only one in control of my life. That is exactly what I'm going to do. After going through something so traumatizing in my life, I wanted to build a new body, a new soul that no one in my past can ever be near again. I have been talking about I'm going to go to the gym for years. Now I know part of the reason why I never started, subconsciously I didn't believe that I could achieve it. I didn't believe that I was worthy or deserving of it. So I decided I was going to start going to the gym. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. One of my friends took me to Planet Fitness and I was terrified. I didn't know what all the machines were for. I didn't know how to do any workouts really. I was like so embarrassed to do anything because I was more concerned with how other people were looking at me and in my mind I was like they definitely know I'm a newbie oh my god I look like such a loser I pretended like I lied to myself and told myself that I was that bitch and if I was that bitch how would that bitch show up that bitch would be consistently going to the gym I would go to the gym you know do like two little things take a selfie post it to Instagram doing that was almost like a way to keep myself accountable and over time I just forced myself to like it like I gaslit myself so hard into liking this because I know all the benefits that could come from it my body wasn't really there yet in terms of readiness and having the ability to show up for it like my mind was I was not working out for real I was not doing it properly I was not really making that much progress but doing that kind of got me into like the rhythm of doing it. I got myself a real Planet Fitness membership. I was going like once a week, twice a week sometimes. Sometimes I would just go to the bathroom and just vape. <laughs> like I would just bring my little, my little Benjamin. Getting into it was so difficult. I have ADHD, so I don't do anything I don't want to do. If I want to get something done, I have to create my own serotonin. For example, while I was in school, to make myself want to do homework, I would get myself a new pen. And that pen got me excited to use it and do the work. That whole concept applies to my gym journey. So I got myself new gym clothes. And yo, woo! And it wasn't nothing expensive or anything. It was like, I just went to Santee Alley, like a thrift store. I would just get go to Ross Marshalls and that got me to start wanting to go to the gym a lot more consistently, a lot more often, and actually be excited about it. Uh, I was playing around with different hairstyles. I was playing around with different like gym looks. Some people say, oh, the gym is not a fashion show. Fuck them, don't listen to them. It's your fucking journey, do whatever the fuck you want. I was putting makeup on before the gym. So I would used to wear lashes to the gym. Just making myself look cute made me have a good workout like made me feel motivated throughout that workout yes the gym is fun the gym is fun. even when it sucks it's gonna be worth it in the end it's gonna keep going i romanticized every single part i knew that if i could just somehow get gaslight myself push myself to be consistent in it to make lifting such a part of my life that i didn't even have to think about it i was going to see results no matter what i wasn't rushing myself i went through a little phase where i was you know expecting myself to achieve this weight by this time or, or this by this time or, or this like that 
it, it just it, it, it doesn't work one thing that changed everything for me when I start was when I started going to workout classes like weightlifting classes like a group class where everyone's sort of doing the same thing everyone's at like different ages different you know levels it felt really safe because it's like I'm not the only one that everyone is staring at everyone is like doing their own thing like we're all doing this together and in those classes I could ask the coach like how do you do this? How do you do this without feeling stupid? You know, so that when I did go to the gym by myself, I had a lot more confidence in it. Uh, and I didn't really have to pay a lot. So I got class pass. Um, it's like an app. It's not just, you know, class fitness classes. It's like you can get facials, you can get manicures, you can go to museums and like stuff like that. It was $45 and you get 30 credits. And one workout class was like two or three credits. And so I would go every single Sunday once a week I started to make really good friends in there I started to learn a lot more and I felt like I I had way more confidence walking into the gym having that in my back pocket it's really a lot more simple than I thought it was everyone online tries to like make it so complicating with all these like big ass words it's like how I am not in this world how am I supposed to like it just feels so elitist like oh you gotta work your breakfast for modest because of that weightlifting class I got over my fear of going to the scary free weight section with all the big buff dudes and you know how like people always say like oh you don't just wake up one day and decide you're gonna change your life yeah sometimes you kind of do one day I just realized like yo I am going to come here every day uh, I don't now but I had to be there to get here I was like I'm going to force myself to go to the gym every day even if I just go there and don't do anything get myself into the habits just so it becomes so normal that first step getting into it is the most difficult part but then once you're in it you're in it and like at this point my boyfriend and i were dating for like a year and i finally asked him because i have trauma and have trouble asking for anything i finally was like hey can you write me a workout plan like can you at least give me like things to do so i don't go in there not doing anything and he was like finally so he wrote he wrote me this amazing workout plan uh that i share with my instagram subscribers one year in the first year in the first three to six months of me being consistent and actually you know training properly training to failure following a plan i was making so much progress every week like i would look at a photo of myself from the week before and I'm like i can't even post this because like i look different now not only was i seeing a physical change like my period came back my acne cleared up my brain fog was gone but i started to develop a really healthy mindset towards my body and life going to the gym and getting active helped me get over my social anxiety taught me patience how to embrace pain i've tried every weight loss method and being active is the only way you lose the weight keep it off and heal your mindset at the same time. You get what you put in. There's nothing else you can say in this life where that is a certainty. You're investing stock. There's no guarantee that you're going to get back what you put in. You get into a new relationship. There's no guarantee that you're going to get back what you give to that person. You know, nothing in this life is guaranteed except the gym. The weights do not lie. Your body does not lie. What you put in is what you get back. Everything in life that is ever worth it is going to be hard and that's how it's going to always be whenever you're trying to level up it's going to be hard at first but you keep doing it until it becomes easy that's the only way you're ever going to grow ever motivation is a huge lie motivation is a feeling a temporary fleeting feeling that you cannot count on you cannot count on your emotions if there's something you want to get done do the thing regardless of how you feel and that means not every day is going to be a main character energy gym day like there would be so many like like NPC gym days where it's just like oh I just I did it like today it was n absolutely nothing special you're gonna have a lot of those but you're also gonna have like so many amazing days where you just come out feeling so much stronger and your mind is just so much clearer you gonna be able to breathe better you're gonna be able to smoke more because your lungs are gonna get so much healthier your skin's gonna clear up I mean it, it you know stuff happens like as you could see but you're just gonna be in such a better place 
if you do go and you learn like so many like important i've learned so many important life lessons doing this too discipline is the highest form of self-love doing something you don't want to do in the moment is showing love for your future self when you're living life in survival mode you're only doing things that are going to make you right now feel good our brains associate safety with familiarity if all you've been doing is unhealthy bad habits your brain is going to consider that safe it's familiar it's predictable i don't want to do this you make yourself because your future self deserves it your future self deserves the future that you want and you are creating it right now your actions right now in this moment create the life that you want that the child in you has always wanted you can get it you are deserving of it don't ever let yourself think for a second that there you're not gonna get it anyway so why should you try you know because that's what we do if we subconsciously don't believe that the goal is achievable we're going to act that way you know you're gonna self-sabotage one little inconvenience comes by you're like oh that's a sign i shouldn't do it no no go do the thing fuck that fuck that that is your old brain telling you hey go back to your old ways no when it's time for change you gotta be scared sometimes you gotta be scared okay you just gotta do it most of it, everything that you want lives on the other side of fear fear of being cringe fear of not being successful at first fear of other people judging you they're really all in your head and they are not reality big things big goals they take time and everyone's always looking for the quick fix how can i you know get a flat stomach in three weeks none of that is real that is all just a cash grab they're all lying to you it's a fitness journey because it really is all about the journey not about the final destination of what you want to do because what you want to do is always going to get bigger and bigger and bigger the best part the fun part is like everything i learned along the way the kind of person that it shaped me to become i no longer criticize myself the way that i view my body now this prison that i've that i feel like i've been in my whole entire life now i feel control Cute. I love you so much. I believe in you so much. I'm always gonna be here every single Tuesday and Wednesday for the live stream. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, share, shove this video up your lungs. Keep breathing fire, my little dragons. And until next time, say hi.